If you remember our trailer video from a few months ago, I told you about this bok choy kuter, which was a garden to plate recipe. And at that point of time, there was a lot of bok choy growing in my garden. Today we have some Chinese cabbage, and uh, given that uh, you know we Tamilians can make kuter with just about anything, I'm going to make a kuter recipe using the Chinese cabbage today. And kuter is nothing but a mixture of dal and any possible vegetable with some freshly ground masala. and uh, it goes great with rice well some people even claim to have it with roti but i'm not a big fan of that so let's look into what goes into the freshly ground masala uh, here we have some uh, lightly roasted uh, urad dal some rice some black pepper corns and uh, red chili now the rice turns opaque when we saute it in a little bit of oil and the urad dal has turned golden brown and we will remove it at that stage and it is to be ground with some fresh coconut and cumin seeds and these are not required to be roasted uh, we'll grind this together with a little bit of water to get a fresh masala so for the chinese cabbage kuter we've ground up the masala which was the roasted rice udad dal red chilies and black pepper along with some fresh coconut and cumin and we have cooked dal here and this is the raw chinese cabbage i have some cooked already So to the pan I've added the cooked bok choy and if you have raw you can boil it for some time until it's cooked and then add the remaining ingredients. So I'm adding the cooked dal, cooked and mashed dal. I'm adding the freshly ground masala. While grinding this masala you can add some water so that it forms a smooth paste. So I'm just going to give this all a stir. You can see lovely colors green, yellow and red from the masala. Let this all come together to a smooth mixture. Now, if you think your kurta is too watery, there is one trick. You can dissolve some rice flour in some water and uh, add it to it and then bring it to a boil. It will become quite thick. The our consistency is quite okay. It will thicken up because there is already rice in the freshly ground masala. So the kuter is simmering, and in the meanwhile, I have just kept my trusted old tadka ladle. I'm going to add some oil to this. So I'm preparing the tadka for the kuter here. Just a little bit of oil, and I'm going to add a pinch of asafoetida to this. and the tadka ingredients are uh, basically mustard seeds and urad dal you can add some curry leaves and uh, red chilies if you wish we'll wait until the mustard starts popping and the urad dal slightly changes color and then we can add it to our kuta and our dish is ready If you notice this tadka ladle could well be as old as I am. I have no clue how old this is. So the mustard is popping now all over the kitchen. Let me quickly put it into the kuter which is also ready. Ideally you never boil a dish after the tadka is done you just do the tadka and then let it be that's it So this is the standard kuter preparation instead of chinese cabbage another very very popular uh, recipe is uh, kirai milagutal which is also called kirai kutan in that you just use lots of fresh green uh, spinach chopped and follow the exact same procedure you can also use cabbage and any other vegetable of your choice a lot of goods So let me know how you like this really traditional Tamil recipe that you'll never find in any restaurant. Leave a comment and let me know how you like this.